Amen. Blessings to you. Welcome to your program, Faith Over Fear. How are you doing today? I'm sure your day is going very well. Your week is going great. Hallelujah. You know I'm always glad and excited to know that you are on the other end, listening and connecting with this platform where we sharpen and build up God's people's faith. Hallelujah. I am convinced and, and sure that your faith will be stirred up, will be built up today in the name of Jesus. When I'm always glad for the testimony signed. I have one testimony in here that I know as I'm ministering, the Holy Spirit is going to help me to bring it on uh, to speak, or I can just say it, uh, you know, while I'm preaching. Amen. But we have to start by appreciating God. Despite global tension, despite uh, so many changes across the globe, but God's people, through His grace, we wake up daily, we're sustained, we're fulfilling destiny. Come on, go ahead and worship Him now. Father, we thank You. We give You praise for this day. As others are coming in, we exalt You. We praise Your holy name. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Karabarona, Sire. There's somebody the heat in your head overnight. My God. The heat was so much that you had to use cold part. Erebo Sakaya. In the name of Jesus, place one hand, one hand on your head. I decree wholeness, wholeness, wholeness. I rebuke my grain. I rebuke my grain. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, there's someone you've been confused lately. Forgetting things, are you going to ask yourself, Am I going not? Am I going mad? God said, You are not going not. Amen. Something just is, 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 I don't want to call it demonic oppression, you know, that oppresses and live. But the best thing I'm going to tell you is temporal. It is temporal. It's temporal. But God asked me to rebuke it. I rebuke confusion in the mind. I rebuke satanic oppression. I rebuke any form of oppression in the name of Jesus. Amen. Go! There's someone you are reacting to medication. There's so much side effect of the medications you took. The side effects have become even more intense and more damaging and, and, and even scary than even the condition that made you. You are online right now. God wants me to pray for you. Father, I interrupt the devastating uh, consequences, devastating reactions of medication in this person's body. Now, you say if we take daily thing, it will not hurt us. I decree today, this thing will no more hurt you, it shall help you. No more hurt you, it shall help you. I fl may God flush out the residue from your system now, 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 now. In the name of Jesus, Korabasaka, should I forgive, should I not? Well, you know the word of God. God said, forgive your spouse. Yes, yes, I'm talking to you. Forgive your spouse. Amen. Yeah, I know you're still hurting. Forgive your spouse. Give room for the two of you to talk. Good things will come out of it. This is, I'm hearing my, my, my ears is just right in God's mouth. And I'm, God is just speaking to me. God said, give room to him. Good will come out of it. Good will come out. You might not, it might not make sense. You may not see how good is going to come out of it. Hallelujah. Father, we praise you, praise you, praise you, praise you, worship you, honor you, glorify you. In Jesus' name. Come on, say in the name of Jesus. Declare. Come on, say, Father, by the authority of your word, let each day, each moment, each hour, Amen. Of the rest of this year, be loaded with joy, your goodness, strength, grace, favor for my life, for your church, for my household. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and declare now. The Bible says, Psalm 16, 19, God daily loads you with benefit. Father, may you load me, my household, your church, with benefit of, 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 of godliness, benefit of hunger for you, benefit of, of joy and peace, progress in the name of Jesus. Your progress cannot be hindered. That's a word for somebody. I rebuke that shackle that tied your progress. Let the shackles be broken. In Jesus' name, your business will soar and prosper. In Jesus' name, your person with cancer, you will not die. You shall, or you will defy it. Instead of dying, you will defy cancer. In Jesus' name, amen. I am shifting into my newness. Making the shift 
into your newness. That is the topic. Making that shift into my newness. Making that shift into your newness. Or you can say into my newness. You know, all through this month we'll be ministering on newness. Newness on how to begin again. How to begin again. Uh, how to begin again. And one of the major f- uh, scriptural focus is Revelation 21 verse 5. It says, Behold, I make all things new. Wow. There's no, it's not where that may be. Behold, I make all things new. Your God is a God that makes all all things new. God does it by opening doors for the things that are new, things that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, things that have not entered into the heart of men. There are some things in the region beyond what natural eyes can see, natural ears can hear, natural heart could perceive. There are things beyond those regions that God does for his people. Hallelujah. And he does it daily. And I, I know in this series, as we're going through it, amen, I'm believing God that you and I, we are tasting newer dimensions of, of grace, newer dimensions of favor, newer dimensions of, of, he- of heavenly provision in the name of Jesus. The beauty of life, I've told you in one of the uh, ministrations this month is you, no matter where you are, no matter where you have been, no matter where you are now, how things have been, you can begin again. Ooh, Charlie Nasa, you can begin again. You can because God can do something new and God can make your old what has been old, what has been castigated, what has been passed, pushed aside, what has been written off, God can flip it around and make new out of it. My God, your worn out body, God can revitalize it, renew it, and breathe on it. God can go into your business that is dead, and God will resuscitate it. Glory be to God. Amen. I see a time of refreshing coming from the presence of God upon somebody's life. A time of refreshing coming in Jesus' name. You can begin again. You can begin again. That's why I say, my enemy do not rejoice over me for I fall. My, my cast seven eight. I will rise. I will begin again. I will rise up. I will go forward. I will make that move. I will be sustained. I will succeed. I will commence. Zaromasa, nothing is strong enough to keep you down as a covenant daughter, son of the living God. That's what I'm here to tell you today. Rise up right now, my brothers. Rise up, my sisters. Commence that journey. Commence that relationship. Commence that divine endeavor. Take up that kingdom assignment. Don't dodge it. Don't scale down. You can begin again. No matter what they have told you, there is a grace to start again. The Holy Spirit has been speaking to me. There are people listening to me who have, have stayed amen, where they are. They have, have stayed it. They have, have stayed one particular season. And they are due to transition. And that is you. That is you. Begin to transition to that season right now. Begin. You know why? Whenever God is ready to usher you to your newness, he speaks about it ahead of time. He comes to announce it in, in, in Isaiah 42, 9. He said, Behold, the former things have come to pass. New things are declared before they even spring forth. So God is sending me to some people, you, you are, you've overstayed where you are now. My God, Shalarabosa, you have overstayed this particular season. Amen. God wants you to shift, to shift to new season. Come on, say, my father, my father, I receive grace to shift to newness of season, to shift into my newness. I receive the grace. I receive the strength. I receive the wisdom. I receive the divine enablement to shift into my newness in the name of Jesus, in your marriage, in my career, in my spiritual life, in everyday living. I receive grace from you, O God, to shift into my newness in the name of Jesus. Come and say, Father, let the power of stagnation, let it be broken in my life. Let the power of old be broken for the new to happen. Every power, every force, every mindset in me that want to keep me in the old, to ignore the new, I rebuke that power. Father, let it be destroyed. Set me on a new course for the new. In Jesus' name, David shifted from a shepherd boy into, first of all, becoming the anointed king. 
the future king, the kings to be. Ha, 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 ha. From there, he shifted into giant killer. Amen. They began to celebrate and sing about him. There was a point, he was in the desert, not known, but not too long. He was in his father's house. As he won, everybody stood up to say, wow, it's your turn. They anointed him. Not too long. You see him in the middle of town. He just killed the giant. He just lifted up shame from the nation. He destroyed national shame and it became, it became the national celebrity. And he began to sing about him. Wow. And not too long. His name was mentioned in King's Palace. He began to sing for the king, play harp for the king. Not too long. He became so, 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 so arrived that the king himself became jealous of him and had to be pursuing David. My God, and not too long, people had to help David. Amen. People rose up and said, we got to help this man to become our king. Mm. Can you see how he shifted from one to the other? Shifted from one to the other? Shifted from one to the other? I'm hearing the voice of God. The days of being stagnated, the days of being kept on the same spot, they are gone in your life. They are gone in my life. They are gone in our homes. They are gone in our churches. This is a new day. It's a new order of days, of day where newness are taking place, new things are taking place. You and I, we take grace. We shift into our newness. We shift mentally, we shift emotionally, we shift financially, we receive grace to shift physically in the name of Jesus. So everything there is, is, is there's a time to be, there's a time to cry, there's a time to weep, there's a time to laugh, there's a time to mourn, there's a time to dance, there's a time to cast away, there's a time to gather. So get ready. This is a time. This is not a time to cast away. This is a time to gather. This is not a time to be sick. This your newness is healing. Your newness is not to be broken down. Your newness is to be built up. This is not your season to weep. Your newness now is to start loving. Amen. This is not your season of loss, of losses. No, it's your season of gain. Ah. Somebody you've been gathering is not what you gather is never gathered. What you gather is never gathered. Who shall it rakosa? God is saying, This is your season of where whatever you gather shall be sustained. In the name of Jesus, what you gather shall be sustained. As I 62, I think from verses 4 to 5, he said, I've sworn by my right hand, I've sworn that I will no more give your corn as meat to the enemy. He that gather, he shall eat it. Glory be to God. Whatsoever you put together shall come together. Whatever you put together shall come together. Your effort will produce. Your effort will produce. Your effort will produce in the name of Jesus. We saw an example in the Exodus 12 verses 29 to 34. After 430 years in captivity, the Israelites, God brought them. Amen. Uh, from the house of, brought the, brought the Israelites from Egypt and shifted them into liberty from 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 uh from captivity he shifted them to liberty from there he shifted them into prosperity and shifted them into jubilation they were in captivity he shifted their season to newness of liberty to prosperity he supernaturally made provision for them ah i sense supernatural provision Coming upon someone today in the mighty name of Jesus. Zero Maria Catalera Bosca Prana. Not only did he make provision for them, even with the labor of their grand, great grandfather and their grandfather and their own father that was never rewarded, God compensated them. Someone, your newness today is your past labors shall be compensated. It shall be compensation of your labor through favor. The favor of God will compensate you for your lost labor in the name of Jesus. Ah, you will enter your jubilation season. Man, the suddenly they began to rejoice. When God, they didn't believe it. Say, so when the Lord takes away the captivity of Zion, when God shifts you into newness, sometimes it's like, wow, is it real or it's not real? Hmm? I remember when my wife. When uh, after waiting for a while to be con to conceive and have a ch and have children, suddenly when it happened, we thought, "Wow, is it real? Was this re is this real or not? Uh, will the will, will the will the monthly cycle show up again? You know, uh, we we uh, not apprehensive, but you know, as human beings, no matter how faith and strong you are, after you have suffered for a while, you know, there's this tendency to 
to, to begin to have apprehension, to be apprehensive. But he said, Lord, when God takes away your captivity, it will be like if, wow, am I dreaming? That's was the case with the Israelites. Somebody here is going to be sudden. Your breakthrough will be sudden. Your change of, of season will be sudden. Hey, re bazu yarakata. Sudden, sudden, quick, sudden, quick, sudden, quick. He moves them from captivity into liberty. From liberty, he gave them supernatural prosperity. From then, he shifted them into jubilation. Wow. People who have been groaning for the sake of the tax masters. Suddenly, they started singing to the Lord. Hallelujah. On their way to the promised land. You will sing your way through to the rest of this year. You will sing your way through the rest of this year. I will sing my way through the rest of this year. Father, by your mercy, by your mercy. By, let's cry out to the mercy of God. Father, by your mercy, help us to sing our way to the rest of this year. Help us to laugh to the rest of this year. By your mercy, Father, cleanse us of all iniquities. Cleanse us of all our sins by the blood of Jesus by your mercy and cause us to, to sing, to laugh, to rejoice. Amen. To the end of this year, gloriously, joyfully, beautifully, in the name of Jesus, cause us to sing to the rest of this year. And you know the newness, part of the newness, God, I'm hearing the voice of God, God shut the door at least part time. He buried all, he, he, God, God buried all their enemies. Hmm. He closed the deal, glory, an era of, 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 of dealing with the, with the oppositions. Glory be to God. Pharaoh and all his, uh, all his armed men, all his soldiers, they were buried. What has kept you or has been keeping you at that level of crying and weeping and, and, and struggling? Today, may God bury it. May God annihilate it. May God annul it. May God wipe it out. May God deal with it in the name of Jesus. That's why I say today, the Egyptians, you see, you see them no more forever. Did it happen? Yes. Ah, come on, let's lift up our voices. I don't know what you are saying now. I don't know what you are experiencing now that you don't want to experience no more forever. Lift up your voice. Bring that word, Exodus 14, 13 to eat. It says, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. For the troubles you see today, you shall see no more forever. The affliction you see today, you shall see no more forever. The joblessness you see today, you shall see no more forever. Amen. The unhappiness you see today, you shall see no more forever. The abuse you see today, you shall see no more forever. I lift up your voice. I don't know your situation particular to you. Lift up your voice. Cry unto Heavenly Father. Maro Naziki Rovarana Sata. Renu Karama Kosa Payanasa. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Oh God. Oh God, arise, Kero Basaya, lift up your voice and pray. Ah, Father, you have the capacity to shut the door ah, and open another. Father, close the door permanently against this sickness, against this affliction, against this joblessness, against this abuse, against this oppression. Close the door against it. Open a new door. Close the door against affliction permanently. Open new doors of progress for me permanently. In the name of Jesus, what eyes have not seen? Man, what ears have not heard? What has never entered into the heart of man? God is preparing them. All you need to do is to be ready to know how to make your shift. Amen. How to make your shift. Amen. You must refuse to embrace the status quo. You must, be, you must refuse to embrace the status quo. What is the status quo now? What does that mean? The way things are. The way things have been going. The way things are, you know, the order of things that men have almost settled for. for. And say, well, this is the way it's going to be. No, you have to refuse the status quo. Amen. For 430 years, that was the status quo. Wake up daily as a slave. Walk every day as a slave. Go back to bed as a slave. Wake up as a slave. Work as a slave. Go to sleep as a slave. 430 years. That became the status quo. Karaba, by one time, one year, one time, the people lifted up their voices. They cry to God. They say, enough is enough. Enough is enough. So in Exodus 3, 7, God said, I have seen the affliction of my people. 
Hallelujah. I have heard their cry. Mm. And I have come down to deliver them. Is somebody crying out to God right now? There must be something inside of you. There must be a desperation in you that is yearning, that is crying to God, that is ready to make moves, that change must occur. My change must occur. I must move into my newness. The Israelites, when they got tired, mm, God only asked, God only prophesied 400 years in captivity. But they, 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 I mean, four and a half, 15 years. But another 15 years was added. Because they didn't say nothing, and God didn't do nothing. But when they lift up their voices, there's somebody, I'm joining my faith with you, to tell heaven enough is enough. Ha, ro, masaka, enough is enough. Jehovah God, come and interrupt. God, come and intervene. God, come and intervene. Father, come and intervene. There must be a desperation for a shift. It is your desperation that destroys stagnation. Do I have those who are desperate today? Desperation brings elevation. It is desperation that brought Jacob, amen, to his newness. Jacob sent everybody away. He sent his, his wealth away. He sent everything that he might speaking, that sure a thing that, that one could depend upon to hold on to. He knew at this point nothing natural could happen. He sent them away, his wives, his children, his wealth, his servants. He sent them away and became alone with God. Ah, there's somebody, hey, you and I, you are alone in the courtroom of God today to make your case. Aroma Zika, Jacob made this case. Father, I want to, I want to change. You got to change my situation today. You got to change my situation today. I lock my faith with you. I declare demand from heaven a change over your life, a change over your person, a change over, over your authority, a change concerning your, your, your status in the name of Jesus. If God is changed, God moved him from a, an individual. He became a nation. God moved him from a person, made the nation out of him. You must have had me say it many times. I just love it. Ah, one person became a nation, not just a nation, but one of the strongest nations on the surface of the earth today, Israel, came out of a person known as Jacob. Ah, God said in Isaiah 60, verse 22, a little one shall become a thousand, a small one, a strong nation. A little one will become a thousand. A strong one will become a nation. A little one will become a thousand. A strong one will become a nation. Are you considered as little now? You will become a thousand. Are you considered a small one now? A nation is coming out of you in the name of Jesus. Des be desperate for a shift. Be desperate for a shift. Don't sit down and let the devil wreck, wreck havoc in your life. No, 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 no. Press. Come and say press. This is your time to press. It's your time to press. I press with you. Come and say I am pressing for my newness. Blind Bartimaeus, he looked around. Nobody to encourage him. Nobody to press for him. He decided today I'm going to shift into my newness. Ah, do I have those who, are, who have made that decision? To shift today. He, he, he wasn't discouraged by the negative, discouraging voices around him, of the crowd around him, telling him to stop. Is that, is that what is stopping you now? There are maybe people around you are not encouraging. Maybe you don't even have anybody around you to say, hey, I'm interested in you. Don't let that stop you from embracing your newness. Maybe you've tried and some people shouted you down. That should not disturb you from embracing your newness. Blind Bartimaeus. It was worse that he was blind. Then to, on top of it, he was rejected. He was, dis, he was he, those who should encourage him, discourage him. But this man did not allow that, amen, to, to detour him. If you are going to embrace this in order to make a shift, you have to be deaf tone to critics, deaf tone, amen, to, to, pff, to la lack of help. Ha, ye na su yaba, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You don't just wait for things to happen, you press, hallelujah, for them by engaging the spirit of faith. Moses asked the people to stand still and see the salvation of, I mean, to see the salvation. But God said, no, 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 move. Tell them to go forward. Don't tell them to stand still. This is a time to go forward. You don't see salvation when you stand still. Until you move, you don't see it. Ha! Somebody to make your shift. This is your time to move. 
That, that will make sense to you. Come on, get up, move. Get going, get going, get going, get going, get going, get going, get going. Zero bush capra nigata. Move right now. Hallelujah. Amen. And I, in order for you to move, like I told you, was it last week? There are two remembers that you must know. Remember ye, I remember ye not. Remember ye, I remember ye not. Remember ye, I remember ye not. I saw 46 9. You remember ye, hallelujah, remember the former things of old, for I am God, there is no one else. Remember the things of old, remember how good God has helped you. In order for you to be desperate and make that shift, you got to remind yourself every day, God has helped me in the past, God has been with me in the past, God has sustained me in the past, even when people rejected me, God was there to keep me, if God fought the battle for me, no matter how little or small it is, that same God will help me now. You must always remember that. Recant the goodness of God over your life. That's why I say, forget not all his benefits. As, as 100, 100, amen, and, and, and three. You must forget not all his benefits. That was what David did when he saw that Goliath. He remembered how God helped him to fight the lions and the beard. Remember the how you must remember when when you were sick with fever, God healed you. When there was COVID and they, they, you, people gave up on you, God healed you. When you were scared on COVID that you will never make it, God preserved you. Amen. When you were jobless, God opened the door for you. When you had no uh, doc, uh, 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 a proper document to stay in this nation, God made a way for you. So what is the problem now that you God can push you to your new system? Remember ye. Amen. Remember ye, then remember ye not. Don't remember the pain, the hurt, the, the defeat of the past. Satan can use, God is saying in Isaiah 43 now, verses 18 to 19, this one is remember ye not. Amen. Remember ye not the former things. In that, consider the things of old. Because I will make a new thing. I will do something new. So there are things you need to remember and there are things you need to remember not. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Don't remember the hurt. Don't remember the pain. Don't remember the, 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 the defeat. Don't remember the rejection. No, 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 no. Close your ears to those so you can run. You can run the race so you can embrace your newness. That means you have to consider a new way of thinking. Until the pattern of old is broken, it is impossible to embrace the new. Ah, I pray for you today. May you receive grace to think in alignment with God's purpose for you. Let your mind begin to line up with where God is taking you. Let your mind begin to line up with where God is taking you. God unto whom who is able to do exceeding abundantly beyond what you can ask or think according to his power at work in you. Ah, I say great power to work in you now is the power of possibility. There's power of creativity. There's power of possibility. There's power of it can be done. It will be done. Especially in this our month of I am. The power of I am. I am confident. I am more than conqueror. I, I, I am victorious. Zero basiara. You need to begin to speak that into your life. I am I am successful. I am able. I am lifted. I am I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am redeemed. I am victorious. I am more than a conqueror. I am unstoppable. Especially this week, I am unshakable. No matter what comes around to shake me, I am unshakable. Will you begin to declare your I am right now? I am blessed. I am focused. I am lifted. I am blessed. I am righteous. I am wise. I am lifted. In the name of Jesus, Zobra Likata. Your mind must line up to where God is taking you. You got to line up your mind with God's purpose and plan. Ah, I see your mind begin to be healed right now. Every affliction in our minds, let the healing grace of God flow through. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Consider a new way of doing things. Throughout this month, take steps and embark on actions that will be in alignment with God's plan for you. Whatever plan God has revealed to you, whatever newness you desire from God, Ask the Holy Ghost to give you the instruction, the strategies, amen, the daily instructions and directions that will cause you to be able to step into the newness that God has for you. Because 
It takes divine instruction for you to be able to embrace your elevation. It takes divine instruction for you to enjoy and embrace the, the elevation that God has for you. I pray for you today. You will hear the voice of God. Amen. That will speak to you clearly. Instructions will be given to you. Zero Basaya. That will set you up for your newness in the name of Jesus. Instructions will be given to you. That will grant you your newness. He said he leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Ah, Isaiah 47, 13 verse, verse uh, 17. He says that, 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 that he say, I'm the Lord God, your redeemer, who teaches you where, who leads you where to go and makes you to profit. May God lead you into where to profitable places, profitable ventures, profitable people. In the name of Jesus, God will lead you to profitable places, profitable ventures, profitable people. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you right now. As I 57, for the Lord God will help me. Therefore, I will not be disgraced. For I have set my face like a flint, and I will not be ashamed. I pray today that the help of God will locate you, because the help of God is a destroyer of shame and disgrace. Ah! The mantle of divine help will locate you, fall upon you in the name of Jesus. The mantle of divine help will locate you, fall upon you in the name of Jesus. Those who have been disappointed in one way or the other, ah, the help of God will open doors for you that will shut down every disappointment that will compensate for days and years of disappointment in the name of Jesus. Those of you that you need help from high places, ah, and, you are, and the help has been held back. I pray today, let your help be released. Those of you believing God for global help, intercontinental help, receive the help of God in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 41, verse 10 to 12. Fear not, I am with you. Be not dismayed. I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my right hand. May God strengthen you. May God help you. May God uphold you. May God strengthen you. May God help you. May God uphold you. I pray today that the wind of help will blow into your family in the name of Jesus. The wind of divine help will blow into your work, into the work of your hand. The wind of divine help will blow into your household in the name of Jesus. Zero boshka pra negedos karababarina sata. Genesis 48 verse 4. He said, Behold, I will make thee fruitful. I multiply you and make you multiple of people. Give this land to you. May God make you fruitful and multiply you. May God make you fruitful and multiply you. May God make you fruitful and multiply you in the name of Jesus. Ah, may you enter your new seas right now. You will enjoy the newness that God has for you as this day turn out to be new. We've never seen this day before. There are things ahead of you. You begin to step into them. Amen. New things, new adventures, newer, newer preparations, newer, new positions, new elevations, new contracts, new jobs, new marriages, new babies. You are stepping to them, new monies. So shall it be. Be blessed, be blessed. Haroba Saka. This is your hour to make that shift. And you are shifting into it in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. We give God praise for another episode of Faith Over Fear. Every fear in your life is swallowed by your faith. In the name of Jesus, fear no more. Then be not dismayed. For the Lord will strengthen you. He will help you. He will uphold you. As we're preparing for our Winning Ladies Convention, this week starting on Thursday, Keep that convention in prayer. Pray for Pastor Antone, Dr. Antone and all the guest speakers. I have that assurance. Woo! I am unshakable. We are the unshakables. Get ready for it Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Powerful, powerful, power pack. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. Be gracious unto you. Grant you his peace now and forevermore. Every time we hear from you shall be good news. And every time you hear from us, it shall be good news. Be blessed. Hallelujah. Ladies, are you ready for what's about to go down starting on Thursday this week? I am super excited. I hope you are ready. The speakers are ready. They are ready to unload on us raw fire of God upon each and every one. Hallelujah. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? What are you supposed to expect? 
Expect rough fire of God, cutting edge messages. Expect, expect the power of God. Expect the anointing of God. Expect networking. Expect self care. Expect to rock and roll in the Holy Ghost. Expect seminars. Expect much more. God is going to unleash His power upon us all. Listen, my brothers, men, you are also invited. Except on, on Saturday, you are all invited. This is what I will want you to do on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at exactly 12 p.m. At exactly 12. I want everyone remember this faith. Hear my voice. 12 p.m. on Monday, 12 on Tuesday, 12 on Wednesday. Click that button. Share the flyer on your social media platform. Share it every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, exactly at 12 p.m. I am super excited. Please don't forget this. Click, copy, paste, do whatever you want to do. Let's spread the word. Invite everyone to the 2022 Winning Women Conference, a conference like no other. God is going to meet you here. Invite everyone. Don't forget, Thursday at 7 p.m., Friday 7 p.m., Saturday 11 a.m. And brothers, you are invited every day because you are unshakable also. You are invited every day except on Saturday. And then the grand finale is on Sunday. Three services, 8 a.m., 10.15, and 12.30. You don't want to miss it. I will be expecting you there. I will be expecting you every day. I will be expecting you this Thursday. Don't forget, 7 p.m., invite everyone. 